I don't mean to alarm you, but the cinema called, and apparently I won. I won. <laughs> Today we applaud ingenuity. No, I don't know what that word means, but it sounded like it fit. This is a three-in-one lens design. Never seen anything like it in my life. Let's find out if it's the best thing ever, or if sliced wheat is good as well. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Can you guess what this lens is just by looking at it? I'll give you a hint. I don't know which one we switched to. I can't see it. We're on a lens, baby. It's got three lenses in there and they all have different effects. I made the sad mistake of filming this as a regular video in the rule of thirds, not realizing that all the effects are out here. So I was over here like, how y'all doing? It's a really weird lens. It's 25 mil. So we're on the GH5S. That's a 50 mil equivalent, Tony 3.5, which disgusts my soul to even think about using. It brings me back to my Mitocon days where I had to focus on myself with a 50 mil pain in the bitch. It made me not want to do YouTube videos. That's why I started this channel. Cause I was like, oh, man, there's gotta be an easier way. There was, there was so many easier ways. So it's got three modes. We were in the twist mode in the beginning. Now we're in the sweet spot. Now, I feel like I got a lot blurrier. What's that one? This is velvet mode, otherwise known as teenage girl skin mode. Just turn back the clock. Erase all your mistakes. Sure you had one too many cheeseburgers? No one's the wiser, that's for sure. You still look good. You're 25 for life. This is so dreamy looking. I feel like I, I could predict the future. In 2024, I think the price of Wonder Bread is gonna rise. Mm. 40 cents. Mm. So let's cycle through the modes quickly. We're in velvet now. Now we're in twist. Did it twist the tone? We'll switch it up again. Now we're in sweet. And I don't know what this one does. I can't tell if it, any of them do anything special. It doesn't look like much. All I see is slightly blur on the side. What if we get closer? Okay, now the effect should be slightly more dramatic. What if I just leave? Do I look way different out here? And then we're sharp, and then we're blurry again? Oh God, why can't I do that gracefully? Like the ballerina I deserve to be. He's so be I feel like a monkey who saw a mirror for the first time. Every video I've ever made, that's all I am. It's just a monkey like, whoa. That's me. Wow. Every single video, that's all I do. That's what this show is. That's fine. That's content, trust me. I'm just seeing a hard to use lens, manual focus only, at a Tony 3.5. It's basically unusable. I spent $7,000 on this lens. It came with a Fabergé egg. Do the effects change as I get closer? Or are we just wasting our time? Never hide. Let me teach you. Never hide. Let me teach you, teach you. Never hide. Let me teach you. Learn nothing, but it's dreamy looking. I imagine filming yourself for YouTube wasn't their intended use, and there are other creative ways to use this lens. Dare we dream of trying? Oh, Toronto, the city of motorcycles. This shot was timed so perfectly I almost had to pinch myself. The motorcyclist is the leading line, entering Toronto for the first time. I hope he's successful here. Welcome, my friend. 
I managed to capture a ghost car in the middle of the street. As you can see, there are no children playing on the sidewalk. It's a sad day, my friend. They're in artistic captivity, jealous of what they've seen here today. It makes you question what's really real in this world. Are we in a matrix? Here I thought I'd be the first photographer in the history of the world to take a picture of a flower with a blurry background. As you can see, your attention is drawn to the flower and the background is <laughs> barely even there. Cutting off the bottom and the side flowers were integral in this composition. Here we see photography at its highest point ever in human ingenuity. A rusted bicycle, one street leading two ways, almost symbolizing that we have a choice in life. Make the wrong choice and it'll seem like a mistake, but if you just take a right turn, you'll end up on the same street the other one did, so it's not, it's not as big as you thought. Here's the same rusted bicycle ownerless. Nothing important in focus. What is in focus is our dreams. Our dreams of the owner one day returning to claim his rusted bicycle. I myself can't wait. In this once in a lifetime opportunity, I managed to capture patience. The red light symbolizes us having to wait. The green light shows that you can go, but nobody is. The real lesson here is good things come to those who wait. Except that guy on the bicycle, he ran the red light and was hit by an ambulance. Here's a pigeon. He's about to step over the leading line that I wanted you to be led into. It's really just mastery that we're witnessing right now. Oh, baby aloe plant. There's a magical softness to the hue. A look that can't be achieved with modern day lenses because they have no character. It's not a world I want to live in, that's for sure. The great owl of hope, standing in front of a green light. Sure, the micro loser sensor falls apart above ISO 14, but we're here to witness its glory. This is what a photograph looks like when you don't know what lighting does. So much could have been accomplished, but I just took the shot. There was no light. Part of that is the beauty, though. So many photographers overcompensate for their lack of exposure. I myself prefer the underexposed eagle in its natural habitat. Can I both be in? The dreams. He thought. Was there a movie about this? I think I saw it. I remember a time when people seemed to care. They weren't just looking down at their cell phones. They'd, they'd look out for you. Those are the times I miss. What about you, Hank? My friend, you can create that world right now. I live it every day. It never left my world. You're the one in power. How can that be? I'm just a boy. I'm just a boy with dreams. How can I achieve them when I'm so small? It's not size that matters. You'll find that out soon in high school. It, like it matters, but like really, it matters a lot, actually. You'll find out the hard way, but still, you can have fun doing other things. Playing chess, Scrabble, there's all kinds of board games. You're small, Timmy. Maybe I can make my own game. Like two people count to 10, and the first person to get to 10 wins. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. But there's a twist. If you say eight, the other person has to shoot you in the face with a BB gun. It comes with the board. You're bad and small. So just remember, kids, it doesn't matter how big your lens is. It doesn't matter how wide it goes or how far it sees, especially that last one. You just walk up there. You don't have to worry about it. Long things are overrated. Definitely. The long lens. Oh, the longer the better. That's a joke. It's a myth. So. I like the lens. It's a good lens. Does it shift focus when I change that? Because I haven't been changing focus. Oh boy. Oh, we learned nothing. The streak is alive. There will be affiliate links down below, of course. It's a micro loser lens. So be weary now if you're a full frame shooter. Not sure that they have those versions. They might. I'm not going to look them up. So you're a geek. If you have full frame, like I do, if we focus on the full frame camera with a smaller camera and then we art our way 
Oh, where are we? What dimension is this? Oh my god. And it returns to us? How is that possible? Oh, the Voidlander. Oh, you amaze me every night. Every single night. Hi. Just let me know if you like the lens. Which of the three did you like the best? And post it down there in the old comment section after buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt, of course. Wow. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. I don't mean to alarm you. <laughs> Good start. Good start.